Let's see, Aries, what do you need to know? What's coming up for you? Let's see. Spirit, can you give me a reading for Aries, please? What does Aries need to know? Okay, Aries, I feel that you've been battling a third-party kind of a situation. Um, and this has been going on for, for a very long time now, is what I'm getting. Now, you have been battling this, and this is something that I do feel has got to do third-party in a relationship. Um, from what I'm picking up, you really need to... <laughs> Put your boundaries in place here, okay? You've been dealing with this for a very long time now. And you have I do feel you've kept, for a lot of you, you have kept your mouth shut when it comes to this third party. Um, I am also guessing that for maybe about 20, 30% of you, there is no third party. But somehow in your head, there is a third party. Okay, I don't know why I'm getting this. Um, I feel that you've been in some sort of relationship or connection somehow that's been very on and off um you've tried to make this work several times um but i'm also picking up do you really want this is is this a relationship that you truly want is this somebody that you really love are you sure you're not just making all of this up in your head i don't know i'm just getting that okay um because i don't feel there is a third party here for some of you yes um i feel that this is more of a maybe a work third party if that makes sense not an actual other person i don't feel there's been a betrayal here at all um i feel that this is something that whoever you've been dealing with has had other priorities you have never been a priority to this person's life and i feel that you've been given and given and given and given and you yeah and they're like mm -mm. it's just not it's just not going anywhere is it um i do feel there could be a possibility of somebody new coming into your life as well um but again from what i'm getting from spirit it's just not the right time okay so if you are talking to somebody i feel that this could be somebody from your past this could be a close friend of yours somehow somebody that you've had in the background or oh, bitch what i'm getting is you're the one with a third party okay you've had somebody in the background it's making sense now you've been having somebody in the background maybe just as a friend or whatever it is um yeah this ain't gonna work okay <laughs> don't even go there because you've invested quite a lot in an actual relationship that has been very on and off if that makes sense and i do feel whoever this third party is your friend or your work colleague or whatever this is has kind of helped you through a lot of this but there's but this don't go there okay don't go there because you will ruin this friendship is what i'm getting okay what else does aries need to know spirit We've got some good changes coming to... Oh, this is the thing. You do have some good stuff coming towards you. And there is a potential of a very good future here. Future as in in the next couple of weeks. I've got a possibility of a new job, new ideas. Some of you have this, this amazing idea, okay? But I feel that there's so many different ideas that you have. And you're like, oh, I don't know what to do. Spirit's kind of like, bitch, just do something. <laughs> just get on with it. Do something, okay? Because you're not doing anything. Um, but the main thing that you need to focus on is your healing, okay? Because I do have a feeling that whatever this relationship or connection, take it as it resonates. It's not always love. This could be work. This could be a family situation. Whatever the situation that made you feel like I've done everything and there's nothing else for me to do, it's just not worth my time. Whatever that is, whatever that was, that needs to be healed from. And it's not by running towards your friends, if that makes you know I'm going with this. Don't go towards your friends. Don't go towards all these new ideas that you have of making money and all of this. And that ain't it either. Um, so basically, it's kind of like you are going to get good things, okay, in divine timing. But you do need to recover first. But be patient with yourself is what I'm getting um, for you guys as well.
there is a lot of heartbreak here, um, Aries. I do feel that the, you're going through a bit of a... This was all unexpected. I do feel that you thought in your head that whatever the situation was, this was it. You know, you were looking at wedding dresses. You were... Do you know what I mean? This was the person you thought you were going to spend the rest of your life with. And for some of you, you feel, you feel this was a betrayal. You know, this person either manipulated you or... You know, you tried everything. I do feel that you even tried to manipulate the situation. Okay? And not even that fucking worked. Do you know what I mean? And now you're like, I don't know what to do. You are very much at this crossroad, but I have to keep saying this to you. Even though you don't know what to do, you got to do something. And that something is the healing part. You do need to recover from this. And it's not by getting with somebody else. It's not by a new job. It's not by... You, you know where I'm going with this, Aries, Okay? And I know you guys like the patience, but it needs to be done. You need to do your healing. Um, so, yeah, you can't run away from that. Anything else for Aries? Anything else? A passionate new start. I do feel, like I said, about this other person that is in your life, this old friend of yours, or whoever this other person is, this other third party, okay? This person is going to come really strong onto you. And because you are in this vulnerable state, you have to be very, very careful about this. They've already warned you, don't do it, okay? But who the fuck tells Aries what to do? It ain't going to be me, is it? No, you ain't going to listen to me, are you? I'm just warning you, okay? You do not have the emotional capacity right now, nor are you emotionally stable at all, to go into any kind of relationship right now. Whether it's just a fuck buddy, whether it's done. Do not even go there. Or maybe I should say do it, because if I tell you to do it, Aries, then you might do it. Do you know what I mean? Don't go there. Do not go there. This person is going to be on you all the time. You know, oh, you know, licking your wounds because you're vulnerable at the moment. Be very careful. This is just a test of faith. If you are looking for real love, if you want a committed relationship, not with this person, not with this person. This is done. They're not even that energy ain't even coming in here at the moment. Okay, not with this past person. But if you are hoping to have a relationship, a commitment, and marriage, and all of this stuff that you want, Aries, it ain't this person that's in your life at the moment. It ain't it. Okay, this is just to test your faith, to see how stupid you're gonna be. Because it ain't going to be the first person that comes around, is it? No. And especially if it's somebody that's already been in your life for a very long time, while you were dealing with this back and forth, it ain't that person either, okay? Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid, okay? I feel for a lot of you guys, you're like, how many times am I going to have to deal with it? Do you know what I mean? It's like, how many times is the universe going to knock me down? How many times am I going to have to deal with this bullshit over and over again? I do feel for you guys. I do. I get it. But, 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 better days are coming. Better days are coming. Gaining momentum. It's going to improve if you listen to what I'm bloody telling you. At the moment, you've got this lack of direction. You don't know where to go, so don't go into the wrong arms, okay? Things are going to change. And I, I do feel that in the next six months, take the next six months. Do you know what? Fuck it. Take the rest of the year to work on yourself, to do this healing, to recover from this back and forth situation that you thought was the one, okay? You need time to get over all of that before you jump ahead, okay? Like the little rams that you guys are right let me give you some guidance before before i let you guys go what is the guidance for aries please spirit what is the guidance for aries let's see what's the guidance for aries emotional loss don't run from it you're going through heartbreak it is what it is recognize the heartbreak recognize the pain the loss and deal with it okay don't run from it do not run from it because what you guys are doing you're just kind of like you know i'm bored i've had enough of that no 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 do not run go back to it cry if you need to you know feel your emotions do not react be very careful about this third party temptation that's all it is it's just listen if you go with it it's just going to take you back to that stage 
back to that stage that you kind of already healed from because i feel that this new person or whoever this person is in your life is only going to remind you of the last one and it's only going to make you feel like shit so don't even go there positive movement forward is what you need to do you're not as trapped as you think you are is what i'm getting and you have the authority aries come on you can do anything you put your mind to okay just not this person okay so that was your reading and um if you haven't subscribed yet what the fuck are you waiting for and i'll see you in the next one have an amazing day